Hello Capricorns, welcome to your Ascension and Healing reading for September. So I'm going to start right off by um, pulling from the Ascension cards. These are by Diana Cooper, if you would like to get a set of your own. Um, they're very beautiful, the book has lots of information in it and to help you with Ascension. So some of these cards are far more advanced than my knowledge, but I do like to bring them out because I know there are others that know about this information or maybe it'll spark some interest for you on learning about this information and I definitely suggest if there's anything that piques your curiosity um, to these cards that you're not aware of to go ahead and check it out, research it. So Capricorn, what are your Ascension messages for September? Let's find out messages are. We'll also be going over what your strengths will be in September. We'll give you some advice as well as some healing stones that you can use um, with some affirmations you can say on the back. So let's go ahead and start with your ascension messages for Capricorn September. Capricorn September. Right, Capricorn September. Capricorn, September. Okay, guys. So you got three Ascension cards. So these cards just have wordings on them. So I'm going to go ahead and read out your Ascension messages. So unicorns, number 22. When you think about unicorns, your frequency rises and you attune to them. These pure, white, seven-dimensional ascended horses are touching you as you read this card. They have come to you because you have a sole desire to serve humanity or the planet. Bathe yourself in their energy and they will give you the dignity, confidence, and strength to do what is right. Other people will sense this and respond to it. Unicorns grant wishes to the pure heart, so ask them to bring something significant to you now. And then um, the affirmation is, I connect with the unicorns. And then you got Quan Yin, number 43. Quan Yin is the master of the 12th ray of unconditional love. She radiates a vibrant pink light of divine feminine energy, love, and compassion. Quan Yin is, is re-empowering women everywhere and bringing forward feminine wisdom in men. She is inviting you to develop your divine feminine qualities, including your healing abilities. Find ways to nurture and empower others and yourself. Give yourself permission to go with the flow and share with everyone for the highest good. This will subtly affect your stellar gateway chakra and build an Anna Antakarana bridge to source. Your affirmation is, I act with my divine feminine wisdom. So male or female, you're being kind of asked to connect with that part of you, that fem feminine energy. And then you got fire, number 13. Fire transmutes the old and takes the new to a higher frequency. Archangel Gabriel supervises Thor, the elemental master of fire, and his salamanders. Your guidance is to ask him to transform the energy of conflict, then spread peace, warmth, and nourishment to people everywhere. You can ask fire to help you eat the right food so that you can have the perfect fuel as your ascension journey. It will also ignite your aura and keep your chakras fifth dimensional and glowing so that you attract many others to you and lead inspiration. And your affirmation is, I invoke the fire to light my way to the new golden age. Awesome, guys. I love it. Love, love, love it. All right, so now let's go ahead and pull a healing stone card for you guys. So there's stones on one side and then affirmations on the back. So you can go ahead and repeat this affirmation after me um, when I speak it in your life to make it more real in your life. So let's find out what healing stones, healing messages, and messages from these cards we have for Capricorn for September. 2019. Let's find out Capricorn. September 2019. Capricorn. September 2019. Wow, you guys got a whole lot of healing stones. 
All right, you guys got five, so that's more than anybody. So there's a lot of energies and things that you can work with. So the first card you got is Brown Agite. Have you been spending time in nature? How does your garden grow? Whether you live in a small city, apartment, or an expansive farm, you can always find a way to establish your roots in the earth and nature. Use the negative ions of mountain, sea, and air for your overall well-being. Yeah, so you're just being called to get out into nature. Here is your affirmation. So you can repeat this after me if you want to make it more concrete in your life. And it says, I am the caretaker of the earth. I spend time in nature. My connection with fairies is strong. I am a good gardener. It is easy to open myself up to allow the light in. I unlock the secrets of my soul. So brown agate would be a good stone for you guys. All right, and then they have Dan Bright. Are you focused on romance right now? Decide to create happiness and harmony and see an increase in loyal and caring friends in your life. Decide to accept love in your life. Allow the development of a new romantic relationship or the rekindling of an existing one. So this month may be very good for creating new connections, new relationships, or you know, rekindling existing ones and bringing them more light. So Archangel Chamiel, this is your affirmation. I sparkle and shine. I emit harmony and love. I am grateful for my fantastic significant other, presently known or unknown. I allow love. I have best friends. And then you also got the shell fossil. And it says, are you ready to uncover memories or wisdom stored within your consciousness? Spiral inward to understand your dreams and visions. Recognize the value of the past and use it as a stepping stone for the future. You have much wisdom inherit with you. Use it. So yes, use your wisdom. And here's your affirmation. Wisdom is stored in my cells and bones. I am conscious of my intelligence. I tap into ancestral knowledge. Meditation comes naturally. I go within for guidance every day. I integrate and process all that I perceive with ease. And then you also got green tourmaline. Do you believe in an unlimited supply in all areas of your life? Are you attracting loyal friends and colleagues? So yeah, I feel like relationships are gonna be huge for you guys in September. It's time to recognize that there is an unlimited supply of um, myriad opportunities and un unlimited potential available to you. Decide what types of people you want in your life and know that you have the ability to attract them. So your affirmation is, I am healthy, whole, and complete. My body naturally regenerates and heals. My actions are heart-centered. I allow love in my life. I easily manifest my ideas. I always attract love, luck, wealth, and success. All right, and your last card is the Andulcilite. I love this. I feel like you guys are in search of a deep connection because it says, are you in search of a deeper spiritual connection? Go outdoors. So once again, outdoors is emphasized and commune with nature. Listen to the messages being communicated to you by the trees, plants, and animals. Spend time in a garden or in the woods. Put your attention on alignment with Mother Earth. And then the affirmation on the back is, I am aligned with the four elements and the four directions. I am a conduct for healing Mother Earth. Protective energies always keep me safe. I know I am connected with all life. Love it, guys. So now I'm going to be pulling a card from the Divine Circus. I'll read just small little paragraphs, quote from the book. So they have their own unique messages, and sometimes I usually go off intuition, but these ones, I really like to get their um, messages out. So that's the way I'll be doing it today. So let's see what they have in store for Capricorn, September 2019. Let's find out what's going on, Capricorn. Capricorn. September. Any messages for Capricorn? 
messages for Capricorn. Right? Messages for Capricorn. All right, so I've got three divine circus messages. First one we'll start off with is go fish. All right, let's see what it says. Sometimes what you want is right in front of your nose, just waiting to be recognized. At other times, what you want is more likely a treasure hidden within the depths of your oceanic being. You have to go diving deep to find out what you desire. What you want, need, desire, crave has been bubbling up from within you. It is rising up from the depths of you now. It's time for you to discover an inner treasure. It's time to go fish. Yeah, find out what lights you up. Find out what your desires are. Find out what sparks you. Find out what's important to you. You know what I mean? Find, you know, look within yourself and find out what you truly desire. And then you got Lady Luck. Lady Luck is on your side. A change of fortune is in store for you. A twist of fate that's meant to be. You're a winner, baby. You're about to hit the jackpot. Excuse those kids outside <laughs> playing. I'm not, I can't control everything. <laughs> but yeah, so you are about to hit the jackpot. Luck is on your side in September. So anything that you're trying to bring to Anything you're trying to bring into your light and your being, you have a lot of luck on your side. Sorry, I got caught up with distractions. Okay, so we got cherry on top, number 26. You are so close to success, to, to the final attainment. All your efforts are coming together perfectly. All that remains for you to do now is one final step, one last choice, commitment, Attitude or action, and your success will be complete and sweet. Sweeter than ice cream sundae with a cherry on top. Yeah, so if there's anything you're working on, any goals you're striving to complete, you are almost done. You are almost finished. September is just talking about getting the finishing touches done. Getting everything um, all done and just adding the beautiful extra touches to whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. Next, I will be reading about your strengths from the Magic Flowers. And these cards have little keywords that go with them. And I'm going to say that these are going to be your strengths in the month of September. Any areas you're going to be really strong. Um, any energies you can use to your advantage. Sometimes there's healing energies, love energies, all kinds of different energies. So let's find out where Capricorn is going to be the strongest in September. September. Four copies. All right, you guys got lots of strengths. So you guys got one, two, three, four, five, six strength cards. So this is going to be out of hand. So you guys are going to be super powerful in September. Use these strengths and these energies to your advantage, okay? So first card I got for you guys is the Snapdragon card. So the strengths associated with this card are, let me find the page. Hex reversal, owning your power, protection and truth. So anyone who might have cursed you, hexed you, you know, you're gonna be able to reverse that, kind of send that energy back to them for healing and owning your power, standing in that power, owning your power. Look at this girl, she is confident, owning yourself. Protection, protecting yourself in your field and truth. So you're going to be very truthful. It's going to be all about the truth. And then you got Dantra. Okay. The powers associated with this card are astral travel. So if any of you guys are interested in astral projection, you'll be very strong at this in the month of September. I have a stellium in Capricorn as well as Scorpio. So I feel like um, this message relates to me too. I love astral projecting and I've had um, some difficulties lately um, being able to break through and um, get the thing done. So I'm super excited to see this card here for you guys. And then concealment and invisibility, discernment. So you're really gonna be able to tell um, the truth and things, really be able to discern a truth from a lie. This divination, enchantment, and magical power. 
So if you have any psychic abilities, magical abilities, you're going to be super strong, maybe developing a deeper sense or deeper bond with your abilities. And then you have Water Lily. And the strengths associated with this card are Clarity of Desire, which is beautiful because most of this reading was talking about deciding what you want, you know, deciding what's true for you. So you're going to have that clarity of your desires because um, I feel like sometimes we think we know what we desire, but um, when you really go to think about it, like for me, it's like, what do I desire? What do I truly want regardless of any kind of opinions or anything like that of others? So you're really going to have clarity on what your true desires are. And it says desire and direction. So you're also going to know the direction to head towards that path. Cooling passions. Creative flow. So if you are an artist, September, you are going to be in your flow. Okay? Get in your flow. You're going to have that just natural ease with your art or your creations. And then healing depression. So if you guys have been struggling, maybe going through a kind of a depressive time, September is going to be a great month for you to start working on healing that depression. And you're going to be very strong at that. And then heart healing. Yes. Yeah, so if you're working on that heart chakra, um, the energies are going to be backing and supporting you guys in September. Purification, puring that, purifying that aura, kind of cleansing, getting rid of all the uh, toxic energies. Spiritual nour nourishment and transmutation. And then you also got tuberose. And the strengths associated with this card are intuition peace protection so it's the second time that protection has come up so your energy your field you are going to be highly protected you're on the strength of protecting your energies and um, purification that came up twice as well so you're really going to feel pure really fresh sensuality and wealth so prosperity attracting money you're going to be very strong at attracting money and sensuality there's a couple here so i think it's talking about relationships like the first card talked about rekindling relationships or creating new ones so that all ties along well and then we have magnolia let's see what it says here magnolia Awakening ancient wisdom. That's beautiful. Goddess energy, independence, personal power, wonderment, and awe. Yeah, so personal power was emphasized twice. So you're really going to be standing in your power, holding your power, holding and exuding goddess energy and just be really wonderful like it says magical and then you got wonder and awe so things are it's just gonna be really magical kind of mystical energies going on for you guys and then you have impatience as your last card for your strengths okay so alignment with divine timing being present and grounded. So you're going to be very strong at living in this now moment, being very present and staying grounded, which is very, very beautiful. Not letting yourself get thrown off by anything. So the next cards we're going to be drawing are your energy or your um, healing cards from the healing yourself reading cards. So let's see what healing messages Capricorn has. Healing messages for Capricorns. Alright. Find out what your healing messages are. Capricorn healing. Capricorn. Alright, you guys are going to be healing entrapment. Read you a short little quote and then I'll give you my interpretation. You are letting too many things in your environment control your life. So you are going to be healing uh, the fact of, of not allowing your external world control your internal world. You're not going to allow things to make you feel trapped or confined. Um, 
You're not going to allow your external world to control you any longer. You know, people, places, or things. You're going to have full um, strength when it comes to controlling your inner world regardless of the outside circumstances. And I feel like that has to do with the card that talked about living in the present moment, be staying grounded, living in the now. You know? Just realizing that um, outside sources do, um, do not define you. And you're just going to allow these out these external things to go on without letting them disturb your inner world. So let's find out healing advice for Capricorn. Healing advice for Capricorn. Healing advice for Capis. Okay. So you guys got inner child and kick up your heels. So what's going to help you kind of free your soul from this entrapment is just activating that inner child, finding that innocence within your soul, finding that young, sweet, youthful, innocent self that you have inside and just allowing to just not take life so seriously, kind of look at things and the world in the eyes of a child and to kick up your heels. So remember to take that time to relax, remember to take the time to nourish and take care of yourself. Um, yeah, just take that time for yourself and just remember to not take things too seriously. Don't take life all that serious and just have fun. Don't allow those, you know, things are just happening. You know, we don't have control over everything. And now I want you guys to think of a situation you need some advice on. So this will vary differently for everyone. So I'm just going to kind of give the advice in a general way. So let's find out some advice for Capricorn. Advice for Capricorn. Okay, you guys got three advice cards. So whatever you're thinking of, your advice is learn to defend yourself. Embrace imperfect color with crayons. And explore your depths. So if there's anyone that you may need to um, defend yourself with, you um, this month is all going to be about learning to defend yourself. Or not this month, your situation um, you need to stand up for yourself, realize that not everyone is perfect, and embrace your imperfections. Color them with crayons and explore your depths. So this is talking about going within, kind of um, really feeling your emotions and understanding why you're feeling things. You know, really going deep within yourself to understand the situation, but just to realize that no one is perfect and your per imperfections are beautiful. So just Find a way to love them. This is like talking about loving your imperfections and just defend yourself if you need to. Because sometimes, um, for myself, I am passive occasionally, and you know, it really hurts you more than anything when you don't stand up for yourself. So now we're just going to be pulling you guys a quote from the Raven Tarot cards. Find out what your little message is here. That one was blank. Okay. So it says, Snatch it, grasp it with, with your talons. Don't let it go. It belongs to you. So that is your message. Snatch it, grab it, don't let it go again. It belongs to you. So if you, yeah, grab what's yours and don't let that go because it is yours and you do deserve the ultimate happiness and you do deserve what belongs to you, okay, guys? And I love you so, so much. Comment down below if this resonated for you. And I'll see you guys later.